Now the most important thing still remaining is that suppose I go to my mobile to get the OTP while we have logged in we get 649100. So let's try 649100 and you know the OTP we have cached is just for one minute 60 seconds. So if we try the original OTP verify it says OTP is either expire or invalid. This is okay. So how user is going to get new OTP? Because now uh, we are do we don't want this bar. So probably I can remove this bar from here. So if I go and resources views um, OTP verify blade. So we can see we have this uh, all these things extended part of this. So why not remove this section? And what I'm going to do, I will get these things from layout so i will get exact html which i paste here and now everything i have i will move inside the section where it says yes yeah here so the content part is all these things and now i don't want the login information or logout information so all these things are here so guest login so all these things are here so let's cut this from here till ul so now let's see how it's going to look yes we have the bar but we don't have right panel which is for logout so we don't want the user to see that it is actually logged in behind the scene we have just did the trick of not logged in so we have done that but now how we can get a new otp so first thing we need a button or radio button just like we have on the login part to resend the otp so here you can see if you have here the form which is actually this form which is sending the otp so after this form we have this so yes from here what we can do we can create a new div and inside div we can define the radio button and the button to submit the form so let's go to getbootstrap.com and in the documentation go to components go to the forms and now if you scroll down you can see inline yeah here is the inline radio buttons so let's copy we need two radio buttons so that's good and let's paste this so how it's going to look so let's see here and we have all these two inlined so next part is like what we need to do firstly we need to say this is a radio button that's okay in name is sms and id is also sms value also sms i think name has to be via again so sms and name is email and id is again email and probably i need to be sure that what i'm typing here and what i'm speaking so email and email instead of one we need to say sms instead of two we need to say email and looks good now we just need a one button so we can say an input button type is submit we are going to create a form here so now let's give a class of btn firstly then btn that has to be small and btn uh, like this and let's say dark one so how it's going to look yeah it is good but now i need its value to be as um, what we can say recent otp recent otp then via and via these two things so let's give a margin on the right so mr hyphen 4 so this is good and move this all inside a container so yeah this is looking nice and give margin bottom of 4 so there is a margin of bottom 4 this is good so when user submits and then it will redirect it back here with new OTP and obviously as we know we need to make email part as checked 
so that it is becoming the default one so how we can proceed so first thing let's write a test so let's go here on the tests directory and this is going to be feature test and i will create a new test call let's say uh, resend otp so this is good so let's copy the name and uh, what happened here remove it so resend otp this is good and let's clear out everything so start from scratch writing a test and the test simply says a user can uh, request for new otp simple one so first thing how we can proceed so we need a user first so user and probably what we can do yes for now we can have a factory but you know the you that user is logged in so why not use the logged in user so logged in user but this logged in user doesn't return the user so if i go to the test case where we have defined this uh, function this one is not returning the user so why not return user here this is good and now yeah we have the user so we can say this user is going to uh, give a get request not get request actually it's a post request so post request to resend otp resend otp or maybe with a underscore this is more clear so recent otp and what we are going to send we are going to send either sms or email this means the via part so via is let's first say it is via email good so this is going to give some response and with the response we are going to assert something so response and in the response we are going to assert first thing is that status is uh, let's say 201 created i don't know but let's say it's good for now so created is good but let's run it and it says something like you don't have such table uh, my bad so use database migration once more run it and next error which says route recent otp not found so go to web.php file and create a new route just after this route is a post request to resend and uh, probably we can create a resend so let's create a resend otp controller and this will be at resend this is the one so we have to create this and make sure the spelling is good and let's open the integrated terminal and here i will say php artisan make controller and recent controller good so let's open the recent controller and here we first need that function that is actually resend and this is going to accept the request which is http request but what we need is that why not we create a request for this also so php addison make request and resend otp request uh, big name so resend otp request is here and this has to be true because this is after login and we need via method to be required this is good so just a security check so resend otp request this will get the request and now uh, what we are going to do so let's just uh, make the test passes so return response with 201 okay so let's run that previous test which is uh, here so i think we need to say resend otp test so this is actual name so recent otp 
test yeah this is good so now let's run this test and yeah it passes <laughs> which is just uh, we have passed if we don't have to do this so how we can do that so firstly we need to resend the otp so resend the otp then we need to cache that otp and then redirect back okay with the message so that your otp is uh, successfully resend so with message okay and we will do these things in the next episode so if you have not subscribed go and subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to get instant notification and you can follow me on facebook twitter and instagram so we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye